the Middle Fork John Day River is just an incredible uh, river to be able to work on and, and uh, help restore. There's been so much disturbance in this entire watershed through ranching, logging, historic railroads, uh, dredge mining, that the system is really out of balance. This area originally was a ranch uh, under private ownership. In the late 1930s, early 40s, uh, a dredge mining company uh, leased the ground uh, for gold mining. And in that process of the dredging, they pretty much completely removed the original channel structure. And what was left was a straightened channel uh, through this, this stretch of the valley. We realized that this dredged area was really never going to recover just through passive protection. The Confederated Tribes of Warm Springs put a team together of folks and we started really investing heavily in studying the site, understanding what needed to be done, talking about options, and um, over time it's built into this large project. So we turned to Bureau of Reclamation and um, they started helping us. So what we're doing is trying to recreate the natural riffle pool glide features that you would get in a natural channel that the, the different, different fish at different life stages utilize. And so we re-meandered the river, lengthened it by over 650 feet, and um, added the complexity that a natural channel provides. The total project area is about 6,500 feet, and it's a total rebuild of the, of the stream channel, so it, it's a huge amount of earth moving and impact to the ground. A lot of other projects, we try not to do such a heavy-handed approach, but in this case, we really had to do a major project to, to get it out of that dredge mine channel. You know, we've read all the papers, we've, we've, we've looked at other projects, we've gone out there and we know what fish like. They like large wood structures, they like complexity in the channel. The large wood provides habitat for the juveniles. It also helps to control erosion of the banks temporarily until the vegetation that's planted out here has a time to take root. The Middle Fork is a little bit interesting in that these torrent sedges grow in clumps. It inhabits this area of the John Day River and it's extremely hardy. It creates a really big ball, a couple feet around, a um, big root mass ball, and, and it's really hard to destruct. And we're able to harvest it and place it where we'd like to. And what it does is provide instant vegetation, which gives us a lot of things that we're looking for. Not only that instant habitat benefit, but also that instant erosion control. So, you know, it's, it's, it's slowly getting there to becoming a, a living, breathing stream. And uh, you know, it's great to see that the salmon are choose, choosing to, to spawn in it right off the bat with it just uh, less than a month old.